welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha with Jolly Flips Vintage. Today I am just getting off work so we don't have much time, but um, I maybe I have about an hour till World Thrift closes. Rumor has it that on Wednesdays, that is when we hit jackpot. But first, a Jolly Flips Vintage information session. A vintage market is gonna go down and we are gonna be vendors in Lake Worth, Florida. Trashy Vintage is holding a vintage market flea market event Saturday, November 25th from 12 to 5 p.m. Make sure you pause the video to get this address. Trashy Vintage is a shop that has an array of subculture vintage clothing from the 1920s to Y2K. They have lots of super duper unique items and we are very excited to be participating in this event. If you will be in town, we hope that you can make it and we'll see you there. Let's talk about Whatnot. Whatnot is a social media platform where you can purchase items from your favorite YouTubers that sell on this platform. You've got Crazy Lamp Lady, you've got The Niche Lady, you've got The Nurse Flipper, you've got me, you've got Sunny Las Vegas, all sorts. So definitely check us out. These are my shows that I am going to be hosting very soon. So once you sign up, be sure to find me, Jolie Flips Vintage, and bookmark my show so that you can partake in the bidding. And of course, come in and just talk to us. Use this link right here to get $15 off your first purchase once you sign up. This link with more information will be in the description below this video and every video going forward. Also, if you have any questions about whatnot, I would be really, really happy to help you. Just email me at jolieflips at AOL.com. That email is also located in the description below. Let's get back to the video, shall we? Okay, guys, here we are. Our World Thrift store, so I'm gonna go in there right now. And like I said, we don't have a lot of time, so I have my black light with me. I have a hi, how are you? Nice to see you too. <laughs> Everyone's so nice here. Uh, I don't like this one's kind of dingy. This one's good. Oh, I know. Goodness gracious, they're all like kind of broken. Let's take this one. Oh yeah, that's a smooth cart. Okay. So the parking lot seemed kind of empty, but yet when you come inside, there's a lot of people, which is good. Wednesdays are good. So I like to check the flutes and, you know, wine glasses, things like that for markings. Um, like I said, I was here yesterday, so just checking to see if there's anything different. And there will be. There's always different things. Look at this bowl. Oh, let's see what the sales are. Ooh, 50% off of red. So that is a made in China piece, but a very nice piece. I just don't have the space for it. Oh my, look at that. Is that a... Uh, What's that Polish brand? Starts with a K. $7.99. So it's yellow. Do you see the screen back there? Yellow 75 off, 50% off of white, 50 off of red, 50 off of blue. There won't be anything off of green. Mostly everything is green. <laughs> Those are usually the ones that I like. I like this piece of glass for $8. <gasps> Look at that bowl. What is that? Oh, it feels cheap when you touch it, but it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's like signed or something. Let's plop it in here and we'll definitely look for uh, what that is. This is nice, but I saw this yesterday and it's, it's, very, it's very chipped at the top and it's definitely Chinese. So, um... Which I'm not someone who has an issue with that. I will buy Chinese items, not all the time, but you know, if I like it, I buy it. I don't care where it comes from. Okay, so they definitely stocked up. <laughs> I mean, since yesterday. So let's see what we have here. These are always fun. I do like those. I'll pass on it for now. The little Celadon bowls that I saw earlier. Um, yesterday i mean binoculars 25 dollars. otherwise i'd probably look into buying that for adam because he's always looking for binoculars 
at thrift stores. Like, have you guys noticed that if you've watched my videos? That's not flash colored. Pilgrim glass. Let's see, a lot of florist pieces. This one back here is kind of nice, but I think it's Chinese. Yeah, it feels like it, six bucks. I think it's a little steep for that. Let's see, Ooh, Ooh, there's a lot of people. It's just surprising because the parking lot looks so empty. Okay, there's some stuff at top too, like canisters, things of that nature. Let's look at all the figurines. None of the willow trees are on sale. They're all green. And they're always about $7, $12. I mean, like retail, you know, Capitamonte. You know, it's surprising if you ever find any Capitamonte style uh, floral pieces or trinket boxes without chips on it. They're so delicate. Look at this. That's new. Oh, so cute. The hummingbird getting the nectar. Um... How much is that one? So it's half off of six. That might be worth it. I, I have a lot of willow trees, so I'm, I'm going to pass on that. Let's look at this. Mm, maybe Peruvian pottery. Mm -hmm. $2.99 for these. These are nice. Moragi style. No chips, no cracks. I really like these. I mean, two ninety nine for that I think is a steal. I I will probably likely do another Asian show, Pan Asian show. So the last one was pretty successful and whatnot, and these are gonna go in them. Two ninety nine, not on not even on sale. They're not cheap pieces, so I'm surprised. I ain't saying anything, or they're gonna start raising prices. It feels cheap when you hold it, but it's still kind of pretty. I wonder if that's a sake pitcher. Could be. I don't have my GoPro today, so you probably notice a difference. I know that some of you do like when I use the GoPro. This is Royal Dalton. It's half off $10. It's kind of a boring piece. I wonder if this is valuable. Let me know, you guys. I see these a lot, but I never picked them up. They're kind of boring. This is really nice. Oh, Lennox. $5.99. I'm not a Lennox lover, but this one has a, dol a dolphin on it. Kind of like that. It's like a check vase. Oh, $6. Let me ride around with it for a little bit. I'll think about it. Is this, is this Pioneer Woman or... Super excited about that. I saw all of these brass vases yesterday. I have a lot of brass, so um, if you're wondering why is she not picking up any brass, well, I just have too many pieces and they're not selling, so look at her. She's cute. She's got broken hands, though. She's not marked or anything either. All these figurines. All of the Asian ones have a flaw in it. That's why I'm not picking those up either. I saw that yesterday. Marble vases can really sell you guys, especially ones that are very, um, like that have a lot of stripes and things like that on it. And they caught on because look how much they want for that, $14. Put that there so it can go to its forever home with someone who likes marble. Let's look down here. Oh, look at it. it. Look at this. $35. This is really gorgeous. It's not signed or anything, but I wonder who makes that. Huh. Might have to take it and look that up. That is really beautiful. That must have sat proudly in someone's home somewhere let's respect it and put it down nicely wow look, at it. look how huge it is when I removed it the shelf looks so empty okay let's see these are all classic Lennox pieces 
but you gotta look between them because sometimes they put things in the middle of it and you might miss a good piece. Not that Lennox is not a good piece, it's just there's so many. There's so many of them. They made so many of the same things that the value has really gone down on Lennox, at least for me, as far as resell goes. These are soapstone napkin holders. There's two of them. Oh, there's lots of coffin over there. Oh my gosh, what is this? Onyx Gator. Oh, he's $5.99. Is he broken anywhere? Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Wait a minute. No? Yeah. He's chipped right there at the foot. That's too bad. He's really cool. Ah, oh, his tail is chipped too. $5.99. The chip is too obvious. Look at this sweet thing. It's resin. Oh, look at his friend back here. So cute and realistic looking. Here, go with mama. What's this? Kind of a fun dish. Oh, a lot of stuff I got. Oh, check it out. Costa Boda, straight up says it, with the sticker and everything, and it's signed, $3.99, I never say no to Costa Boda, I have a friend who lives in Sweden, and not too far away from the Costa Boda factory, I believe, I think that's what he told me, and I don't know that it's as valuable as it is here, like we love Costa Boda but I'm not sure how it is in Sweden, like how, how they value it. Like, I don't know. Maybe they feel about Costa Boda the way we feel about Lennox. <laughs> and let's see. This is pretty. It's party light. Those are kind of fun. I'm not ready for Easter yet. And I got kind of burned last year buying all sorts of Easter items and I still have them in my inventory so I need to go through those before I start buying new ones new Easter stuff look at this box a parakeet it's lucite or acrylic $1.99 oh here oh it's by Russ oh yeah I like it <laughs> little parakeet lucite box for a dollar for two dollars Oh, okay. All right, let's look at the new glass stuff that they put out. Look how cute he is. Resin. All right. Oh, it's that back there. Pampered Chef. Okay. These are Chinese. Yeah, man in China. They want $10 a piece. They're kind of cool, but they're done sloppily. Not, not great quality glass. Um, turtle. Tea light holder bear back here it's probably Chinese too not not bad not bad I like those teal Indiana glass cat um, votive candle holders those are cool this one's polished it's blue it's got a bubble six dollars for it I don't see like a high value on that one um more glass pieces there's a huge dolphin back there $20 for it, not on sale. Dolphin sales have really slowed down for me. Also, this elephant is super cute. Can't peel this off. Oh, it's a salt shaker. I knew it. Because I saw the cat ones here last week. Also, there's a little girl back here. There's she. Oh, it's an angel. She's cute. And a little chickadee little Easter thing going on. Let's make sure that sticker doesn't come off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it came off. Uh, well, I gotta put the camera down and fix it. What about this rooster back here? Roosters, roosters are really becoming something. Wait, I found some, I felt something touch my hand. That's why I put it down quickly. Can't figure out what it was. I don't know. It's like an old rooster, but I don't really like the pink. I think it's kind of lackluster. There's a fresh cart behind me. Let me see if I can 
see what's in her cart. Try to take my cart along. Mm. Really that big. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? This is pretty. Mm. It's not Costa Boda or signed or anything. It's kind of different, but it feels like Chinese glass, so we'll let it go. And I see some leaves here. These are kind of nice and deep. Oh, I knew it. I was like, they're so modern looking, but they're pretty. It's a Target. Not that I wouldn't pick that up for myself, but I'm a vintage reseller, so I try to stick with that. This is cast aluminum, I think. Made in India. Really bad quality. It's painted. <laughs> I don't mean to like diss anybody's work. It's just looking for good stuff. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six nappy bowls. Crystal ones. Lots of florist pieces down here. Tons of them. Actually. Your eyes can kind of just miss things when you see a lot of the same colors. Looking for fairy lamps. Um, I'm being very careful not to turn my camera to the left because uh, one of the, I think, bad things is there's no fitting room here. And so there's a corner where people literally strip down to try on clothes. So I'm going to cross over to the mug section, but I'm going to turn my cam camera off for a second just because uh, to give them privacy. All right, so we made it over to the mugs. Don't see anything crazy exciting here today. The mugs. Some of the same stuff. These are pretty modern, probably. Euro Ceramica Stoneware. Painted by Artisans Blue Garden. Those are really pretty. Only $1.99. Some stuff in the baggies, but since they're going to close soon, I think I'm going to ignore the baggies for now. And then make my way over here. <gasps> oh, I love these. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take these because they have the lids on them. They don't have any... Oh, God, is that a big old chip? Oh, gosh, yeah, there's a big old chip. And it's, like, hard when there's a big chip on the glass. And they want $8 for it. Um, yeah, because people can cut themselves. There's another one over there. Hmm. Oh, this one has a big old chip also. Too bad. I would have picked those up. I don't even know if I would have resold those or tried to because I like them. Look at this one. Maybe I can take this one, but I have nothing that matches it. I'm going to pick this one up. $7.99. I could probably get about $20 for that. I don't know. I'm just like now exploring um, to sell Pyrex. So look at this bowl. That feels really old. 99 cents. I'm going to put it in here because we're not in the section where the wares are. Um, so maybe I find another one. If I don't find another one, I'm going to put it back. It's hard to sell one bowl, even as pretty as that. It's hard for me to sell that. Look at that. That's $2. This is gorgeous. It's a lacquer black tray. But here it's matte. And it's hand painted. It's got a little bit of like water stains. But I like it. $2.99. I like that. Alright, let's look. I saw something behind me. I'm going to go slowly. Where is it? No. Oh, God. I thought, like, I see the colors and I thought, eh, Batosi? No, it's definitely Pier 1. Look at that. They wanted $20 at Pier 1. They want $15 here. It's 
a little crazy in my opinion. Um, oh wow, this is intense. Sheesh. Lock your kid's eyes if you're watching this. It's all cast, like some, is that what it's called, cast? Somebody made it? Oops, let me get out of someone's way. Okay. Well, this is cute. Fall is for football. Yes, with a chip at the bottom. It's unfortunate because I think that would have actually sold. Football sells pretty well. Okay, what's this? A bread um, butter dish shaped like a bread. Shaped like gluten. It scares the crap out of me since I have celiac disease and I am gluten free for those of you who don't know me yet. Um, these are pretty little dessert dishes. Oh, look at these little shot glasses. Oh, they're crystal cut. I mean, they're they're etched. It's super exciting. What else? Flash colored. Okay, let's see. Lots and lots of. Oh, there she is. Lots and lots of stuff. Oh, I just ran into some really sweet subscribers, but I also met them before they were subscribers. They're very nice and I love them so much. I did not put them on camera because I didn't, I wasn't sure if they wanted to be on camera or not, but they're so nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's some more of that. Remember that marble vase we saw earlier? Well, this must be part of the collection. They want $15 for it. Mm, I don't know. Anyone's gonna pay $15 for that. See. Oh, look at this. This is very vintage for Christmas coming up. Someone made that. Oh, it's it's pretty scuffed, but oh, it's not that old. 1995. It's cute. Something else I saw when I said, oh look at this, I meant this, but then I got distracted with that. This would be half off of $6. What is it? It's a wall hanging. It's very lightweight. But you can use it as a tray. Isn't that pretty? Let's get that. It's kind of got like a Art Nouveau look to it. It's only $3, so. Let's see, I see something else here pretty cute. Brass, maybe made in India. Yeah made in India, but it's got a little elephant on it. It's $10. It's got handles on each, on each side. So I picked this up the other day, guys, yesterday, and I put it back, because it's supposed to be like some kind of art glass gravy boat, and I looked it up online, I couldn't find anything like it. I thought it was very awkward, like the angle, and I get that's like the art of it, but I'm not sure if I like it. Let me know if I make a mistake, if I'm making a mistake. It's not signed or anything either. This would be half off of 15. I saw it the other day, but again, not super exciting pieces. Oh boy, let's try to find some exciting pieces. Um, oh, this is nice. I gotta stay away from like, gotta stay away from, from plates, but this is really cute. Bonus ceramic, Rhodes grease. $3.99. I kind of like that plate. I know I'm supposed to stay away from plates, but oh, look at these mushrooms. Look at this. Uh oh. $1.99. How old is that? Pretty old. It's hand painted and signed. 1980. Lillian. Pretty. Alright. Alright. We're getting some stuff. Bill Ryan Bach, little trinket dish. This might be Fitz and Floyd, but yeah. This is a nice Fitz and Floyd plate. Let's put it in here and we'll look it up. Some Fitz and Floyd does sell. These, these kind of decorative plates, Norman Rockwell. Uh, what is this? Um, Gone with the Wind. Well, they don't really, oh, look at this one though, $7.99. 
Disney collection. They made 15,000 of them. It's pretty, not for eight dollars. I wanted to look at this. It's beautiful. I just don't have the space, it's so large. Okay, oh, look at these little trinket boxes. Look at these ones, they're painted, hand painted. Trinket boxes are cute. Those are real cute. I can't see who made it. This is a lacquer box, 99 cents. Ooh, the back of it is pretty bad. This really heavy Wedgwood piece, $35. They can go ahead and keep that. Yesterday, my friend Renee picked up one of these and she said there was another one and I think she might have been talking about this one. She got a brown one. This is like a harp. Wait a minute. It's like dust everywhere. Yeah, I don't really like the colors on this though. It's kind of boring. But anyway. They make music. This is cute. Let's see. Let's get it all pretty. I don't know. Let's see. They want two ninety nine for it. Let's just get it. It's kind of fun. I don't really like the colors. It's kind of boring, but it's kind of a fun piece. I might end up leaving it. And we'll see. these up here. Oh, what about that? Cobalt blue. Let's see if it's flash colored. Mm, it doesn't seem like it. It's only $3.99. It's kind of nice. You can get that. Not finding like super exciting pieces yet. Like nothing that makes me go like, oh, look what I found, you know? But that's okay. Let's see. I'm trying to get past crowds. Okay, let's see. Let me make sure my purse is open. Hey, how are you? <laughs> She's here? She's just checking out as I walk in. Oh, we're regulars. <laughs> I know, I love it. Oh, here are those little marble things again. This is like hilarious. Oh, this is shipped. Otherwise, I would pick these up because they're only they're only two dollars each. But there's a big old chip there. Must have been someone's whole marble collection. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. It's all chipped up too. That's that special pottery, Namaji. <laughs> I can never say that word. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Is this a mushroom? It's weird. There's always weird stuff at thrift stores. Aww. Oh. Oh no, this is definitely flash color. Yeah, it's made to look like crystal, but it's not. It's not crystal at all. Probably party light. Look at that, it's a full Yankee candle. $2.99, you guys, that's a really good deal for a Yankee candle. Let's make, let's see if it smells good. I mean, oh, no, no, look. That's why. It's $2.99, but you know, you could still use, oh, it smells so good. Midnight Jasmine. If you get a warmer, you could, you can use it still, you know. Like, warm up the wax. Look at this. We gotta get through all of that. <laughs> Forget me checking for loose eye candles on the wall here, because I can't. See, these are cool. This is fake jade resin. Just trying to get through this man in a wheelchair, but, um, and his cute little doggy. We'll just wait a minute. Okay, I see a couple things. See this? This looks like some kind of raku. Yeah, it's a raku platter, you guys. And it's signed Gaudi. Don't know, is that a windmill? It doesn't have a price on it, so we have to see if they'll give us a price. 
has a code on it, so usually it will give you something with when there's a code on it, they'll tell you how much it is. We'll see, let's hope. That's a longer burger. Um, bread basket brick. This is $20, jeez, that's heavy. Made in China. Every time I lift something up from the shelves, like this big um, bunch of, like a lot of dust comes up. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, $3.99 by Jacob. Oh, he's cracked. Look at the bottom. Everything's cracked today. What is that back there? Cathedral? Scandinavian looking bird. I think this is from Avon though. Yeah, Christmas 76. That is an Avon piece. I, I recognize that. It's cute though, isn't it? Probably selling a lot of them online though. And not for very much. This is what I wanted to see, but there were a lot of people in the front and hopefully it's worth it. Oof, it's either intentionally rusted or very rusted. $7.99. Too rusted. For, I don't know, I think it's intentionally rusted. I don't really care for it once I actually picked it up. Okay, let's see if I can find anything out here. Kind of have to dig for things here. Look at this. What about up here? So this little septarium bear, septarium stone. I would pick it up, but I think there's many of them probably selling online. I've seen these before. I'm gonna leave a septarium bear. See something back here though. What is that? There's like three of them. These roosters, there's so many of them. $1.99. Kind of old. Let's see. Let's look at the ones back here. Um, I don't know if I should get these. There's like three of them. They're like chalkware. Uh, I don't know. I have so much stuff. Let's leave it. We're looking for some special things. So I'm going to keep going. Oh, look at this. This might be old. $2.99. It's really pretty. This is a sliced geode. $3.99. My threshold, so... Okay. I would have never noticed that. <laughs> this is really pretty. This looks like kind of like an old wall hanging. But I think it's kind of newer, so... But I'm going to take it anyway because it's really pretty, isn't it? It's only $3.99. I wish there was two because then it would be really pretty. There's an art tile here. A little stand also. Isn't that pretty? But not signed by anybody. So we're going to leave that. Oops. Oh, let me put it where I found it. That would be better. All right, so let's keep going. Look at the plates. Oh, look at this. Wonder if this is old. Ginger, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. No. It's made to look old, but super cute, isn't it? Mm, if it was actually old, I'd probably pick it up. That's like an enamel bowl. Wow. That's really pretty. $2.99. I'm going to pick that up. I guess I'll pick up the other one also. Because I'm not finding it here. I'm not finding another one here. But it's cute.
Redware. It called Stricken Meyer. What's her name again? <laughs> What's the name of that fused glass artist? I have a lot of her stuff. It's not Stricken Meyer. I'll pop it down here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at these. $24 for the whole thing. Oh, I wonder if these ones are the desirable ones. They're brown. $24. And then here. I'll look that up so it doesn't fall out of my cart. Look at this. I wonder if it's meant to just like be one painted. No, like you know, like have like one decorated one. Pretty 99 cents. Don't need it. Don't need it. Keep going. This is a really beautiful bowl. Made in Italy. Hmm. It's a little much, $5.99. If I like that price. I'm seeing pottery down here, so I gotta look. Halls. This might just be a yeah. Commercialized piece, and this is a butterfly. Avon. It's really nice. It's got pansies on it. Who's, who makes that, you guys? Let me know. If that's worthy, I'll come back for it if it's still here, but. Trying to stay away from plates and things like that, so. What is that about? Is that old? Stoneware? Oh, wow. A Gabby made in Italy. I have to look that one up, too. I'm trying to stay away from plates, but it's not entirely working out. We're in the plates section, so. Salt and pepper shakers. None up there. Some artwork up there. Look at that. I never look up there. Isn't that funny? I'm gonna go look at the coasters. And I saw this trivet. They're pretty modern though. Pretty though. Some coasters over here. Sometimes coasters can be pretty valuable if they're the right kind. Oh, is that soapstone? Like the whole thing? TJ Maxx, made in Kenya. Soapstone. Okay. This looks kind of abstract. Threshold. Ah, Target gets me every time. <laughs> Sit and Stricker. That's the name of this. Sit and Stricker is the name of the artist. <laughs> My mom had a whole bunch of these. Yeah, the, the glass, fused glass artist. Oh, this is pretty. All right, let's look up our, our, our items. We don't have much time, and then we're going to go ahead and put the items back, the ones that we don't actually want. So we're already in the section with the casserole dishes, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one back. I only see them selling, like I saw one sold for like $30, and then... Which is not a bad profit. It's just that this one has a couple of chips on it. And I don't know anything about this brand. So I'd like to do a little more research before I buy something. And put it in my uh, in my home and like never get to sell it. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this bowl no matter what. Because it is just really beautiful. And then there was that other oriental bowl that was in here that was really nice too. So we'll get that as well. Just because that could be great for a collector. This particular Cinderella Pyrex, they're calling it, this color, this one's like really scuffed. I have a blue one that's an Amish pattern that is pretty uh, worthy, but this one looks like it only sold for like $15, one five on Poshmark. 
um, and there are many of them being sold in various uh, prices like 30 50 so I'm gonna pass on this one I don't want to be stuck with a big mixing bowl and two other little ones that are a low value so but hopefully somebody will pick it up I'll leave it up there to see if somebody will pick that up so believe it or not these harps uh, they're calling them Scandinavian harps <sighs> there's a fly and I looked up three of them and three of them sold for over $30. One of them even sold for 50. So granted one of them had cats on it, another one had pansies on it, but, and they were similar to this color. So I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and take my chances on it. Pretty, pretty neat, I like it. This like glass hand painted wood mirror sold for about $25 and I saw no one sold for over 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my chances for $4 on this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back. It sold for about $15 on this side. A few times, $15, $18, $1, $9. So they want $8 for no discount. So I could keep it for myself, but I just, I have enough dishes. So I'll let this one go too. Okay, so this I'm not sure what to do with because I see several of them being sold for over $90. I didn't really, dive deep to see um, if it's selling, if it actually sold. But I mean, they're, it's pretty high dollar for what they're selling. Um, and so I figured if I don't sell it, I could use it on my whatnot shows by putting jewelry and stuff on it. So, I mean, it's half of $6, it's $3. You really just can't beat that. So I'll definitely get that. And the Fitz and Floyd dish is only, is selling for about $15 to $19, and I haven't seen any that have sold. I'm sure some have sold, but definitely not for high dollar. And at $3, I'm just not willing to uh, take a gamble on this piece, unfortunately. I'm not going to look this up. I'm just going to buy it because somebody actually painted it. So it's a unique piece, and I just love that. So definitely going to get the mushroom decor. This one is stamped Gaudi, and no price on it, but there's a six on it. So we'll see what they'll give it to us for. I couldn't find anybody with that name that makes Raku. But when I get home, if they sell it to me, I will definitely do a little more research on that, but we'll see if they actually sell it. Another piece that is just quite beautiful, but not va valuable at all, Bonus piece sold for under $20, so uh, unfortunately I'm gonna leave this one behind as well. It's pretty though. This piece can be highly valuable. Um, I see some that are being sold for a pretty, would be pretty good profit, but the water stains are so bad on it and right directly on the actual paint. And unfortunately it bothers me too much. It's so scuffed, it's so worn, I gotta leave it behind. This piece I'm kind of sad about because I see them being sold for higher than 20 but I can't find any that actually sold for the amount that I would like to profit <laughs> from and six dollars is pretty steep so again it's glass it's going to take more for me to use my shipping supplies you know and then I won't profit much so I have to leave it behind unfortunately. I'm just going to pick this up because I'm a collector of Costa Boda and I like to pick up every piece that I find and this one's signed and everything so I'm going to get it. I, I hope I don't start having a problem like I do, like I did in the past with Aura 4 and then now I'm stuck with all sorts of Aura 4 pieces that won't sell but I do like that. I have a lime vase that would match that so... I think that this one is not valuable at all. So I'm, it's like selling for about $15. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it behind. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this huge piece. It's a Murano. And there's no chips, no cracks. It sold for $198 on Etsy and about $400 on First Dibs. I know First Dibs is, tends to be kind of expensive, but I mean, it's $35. And I'm going to take a gamble on it, guys. That bowl, I am not going to take a gamble on it. It's painted on the outside, even though it's signed. I don't know anything about the signature. If you do, please let me know in the comments, you guys. But, um, and then these two little um, Asian bases, I'm definitely gonna pick up for $2.99. I think we did pretty good. I'm gonna check out. So on my way to the cash register, I 
saw this on a fresh cards because they're still they're still stocking i mean this place stocks constantly but look at this little QP. he's in perfect condition i'll bring him on to my figurines show so i was gonna hit up goodwill which is about a mile down the road but uh they're gonna close soon and it's kind of dark and i'm getting hungry so i'm gonna go home adam is not feeling well he has a cold so i'm gonna go and see what he needs but yeah, about the Raku platter, I got that for $1.99. Could you believe it? If I could find out who the artist is, that'll be very interesting. Anyways, if there's anything that you saw me thrift and you would like to purchase, please hit me up at jolieflips at AOL.com. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Your subscriptions, your likes, your comments really do help my channel, but they also help me mentally, mostly. So thank you so much. I thrift for mental health. It's very, very fun. And when you start seeing profit too, it also gives you, when you flip things and you're starting to see the profit, you know, it really does give you an incentive to keep doing it and then also distracts you from things in your life that may be a little chaotic. And I've got a lot of chaotic things. Who doesn't, right? Thanks again, you guys, so much. I ramble. I ramble all the time. But I will see you on the next one. Bye.